Hi everyone. Uh, in our earlier video, we have shown the unboxing uh, video of the Minet N900. Today we are going to review this and test out some settings and feature offered by this router. We'll test the router on Windows 8. Let's check out how it works and what all features it offers. We have shown this earlier. This is the router configuration CD, and uh, you have to set up. Uh, you have to use this to set up the router. Once again, let's check out the ports first before. This is the internet port. If you are using a modem, you have to connect the modem lamp directly inside this. And if you are on a LAN network, you have to connect the LAN port on it. We will connect the LAN port now. First, you have to use the power adapter. LAN cable. This is the internet line. You can see, there are uh, there is a green and uh, orange LED near each port. This LED detects the connectivity. The green indicates an active connection and orange indicates a data transfer uh, activity. This cable is used to connect your PC with the router. If the light is not working, you have to change the cable or you have to check out the LAN port of your system. The router takes some time to boot up completely. You can see all four LEDs are turned on. Let's check out the configuration of this. Once you connect to the router, you can see an unidentified network error. Uh, you have to, if the router basically take all the settings automatically, but uh, if you are on an ADSL network or on a WAN port, you have to configure it again. Enter the, the CD and you can see auto play option. DVD drive. The CD has all configuration detail of uh, Minet 900 It offers you a set of software also to control parental control policies and other internet security setup. It takes a bit time to load up on the screen. This is the window of Minet setup wizard. If you are first time configuring the router on an ADSL or a WAN network, you, you have to click on set up a new router. It shows you a video of uh, how to connect the router with the laptop or with the modem. So you have to connect the uh, cables as it is mentioned over here. We'll directly go to the software installation because we are automatic. We are on a LAN network, so and we do not need to create a separate connection here. These are the three software that uh, comes in, in the CD. First one is WD Print Share to share your printer and over Wi-Fi and over LAN network. This is a quick way application which tell you the current status of your uh, connection of uh, Wi-Fi and LAN. The installation is now over. You can register the product to get more updates from Western Digital. Now you can see there are three icons on the desktop, WD Router Login, WD Internet Security, and WD Print Share. Print Share is application allow you to share printer over LAN and Wi-Fi. It is a very simple utility. If you face any error, you have to restart your PC and you have to reinstall it again once time, one, once again. The second is WD Internet Security.
this application allow you to control uh, the network setting and also the pa parental control policies you have to register your router first on an email id to log in in this and the settings are available inside uh, Uh, router login we'll check out this we, we'll check out a detailed video on internet how to configure parental control on uh, western digital mainnet n900 first let's check out the setting provided in router login there are two way to access a router login setting one is through a web browser and second is through by typing the ip address of router when you double click on the icon it open the web access of uh, my n900 router or you can just simply type 192.168.6.1 this is the same page which which appear after when you click on wd router login icon click on continue to configure the setup the first screen that appears is, uh, is to uh, enable your lan network just keep following the screen screen instruction the router will detect the connectivity between pc and internet and configure the setup automatically depending on the network connection it take times uh, for finding a right uh, network settings you can see the other options available here the dashboard offer you a small glimpse of your existing network whether it is protected or not protected or another setting that you can access to put a password in your network in your router second third option is a wireless setup if is, if there is any issue with cable connectivity or with the router uh, router uh, the connection will be resetted now we will we'll go in the dashboard and check out for more settings the default login is admin this is your dashboard the dashboard uh, is a web access type interface you can see a notification bar at the top right corner the notification bar gives you information related to your existing router setting for example there is no password or there is no configuration for the dual band uh, wifi you can click on it or you can click on ignore to avoid the settings this is a easy way to find out what are the error you are getting right now in first connect connectivity the router operate on dual band frequency which is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz both are configured on auto mode you can see there is a no password here the device name is my net n900 when you configure a media server or a cloud storage this this name appear on the network places in your windows or in whichever device you are trying to connect or share content the internet status is shown here which shows connected and the number of devices which are connected you can find a list here this is a simple way to find out a network map with the ip address provided and the mac address we have connected an, an android smartphone on it so we can also find out the mac address of that smartphone we'll go back on the dashboard there is an advanced setting column here which uh, allow you to configure more setting will tell you a detail about this afterward this is the guest network now the router is having a wps button when you press the button the wifi network is protected and for and sometime when guest uh, you know, sometime when you want to allow someone to use your network without password you can enable a guest network when you press the wps the wifi password is activated and when you press it again it is deactivated and anyone on the wifi can use the internet so you have to configure this uh, quite smartly because this creates an open network for all this is a connect to internet section where you can reconfigure your entire internet which was we, we were doing before this is a wireless setup section you can here change the name of your uh, wifi network for example for 2.4 and also the password by default it is given by default these are the default setting which come in the router if you are having any doubt between using the frequency you can press the information icon to get detail on it this is a storage section you can connect a wd external portable drives or a usb on it and uh, configure a uh, shared uh, storage on the network directly through the router we'll show you a detailed video about this afterward this section add a wifi device to your router after adding a wifi device with that uh, device you can change the setting of this router means you can just directly type the ip address or whatever the router 
URL is and change the setting through that smartphone or a tablet PC or a laptop. Now let's check out the advanced settings. In advanced setting, you can find more detailed sections to configure the router as per your need. For example, the first is WAN setting. This is a WAN network where the router is connected with other devices. The router uh, directly connect with the modem and then The wireless section allow you to uh, change the frequency which on which the router is working. Right now both are turned on, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. The difference between these two frequencies is that on 2.4 gigahertz there can be a data problem. For example, if you are transferring a 10 GB of data directly on Wi-Fi, there can be a lag or spikes. But on 5 gigahertz you can get a constant streaming solution. This is good for Wi-Fi gaming and HD streaming. You can configure the uh, Router uh, security mode here, WPA, WPA2, WEP standards and everything for both both frequencies. These are the Wi-Fi channels. It is necessary that you do, does not touch this setting, but if you know about this, you can modify the channel as per your need. If you turn on SI, SSID broadcast, uh, the router will be undiscoverable on the network. So just let it turn on. W, this is WPS setup, the button which is on the router. With this setup, you can enable WPS configuration. W, this is WPS setup, the button which is on the router. With this setup, you can enable WPS configuration, but uh, it is helpful while if you're using a guest network in your uh, LAN area or else uh, there's no need to do anything here. This is the guest section option which I have shown you before also. The LAN section offer you the IP address or what you can say the default gateway of router. You can use this to uh, man use this IP configuration manually on your computer uh, to access the router to put the router as your default gateway. This is DSCP settings. You can put the manual uh, uh, DSCP IP address from range from ranges that other computers can uh, use it to to access the internet temporarily. This is device client table. This table give you uh, information on which uh, all uh, devices that are connected on the network. For example, the number of computers, the number of smartphone or a laptop. And along with that, it offer you a least time information there. This is the security section. By default, there are some settings which are already enabled and it is recommended that you do not, you do not touch them. But if you know about the firewall or about the firewall rules, you can go inside this and you can create your own specific rule. You can add a specific device which can only access the network while other will be denied. So these are the different settings here. We'll show you a detailed video on parental control, how to configure parental control on Wi-Fi on Minet N900. The additional feature section gives you option to for port forwarding for LAN gaming or for FTP setup. And these are the additional options, for example, routing or fast track plus QoS. Fast track is used to uh, uh, used to uh, ensure the quality of HD media which you are streaming on the internet. The quality is not degraded if this is turned on, uh, but it works uh, well on uh, 5 gigahertz frequency. The same is network UPnP. If this is turned on, the devices will be connected on plug and play interface. The admin section just offer you to change the password or make any registration or run the firmware update of the router. So as you, as you had seen the dashboard of 192 of, of uh, Minet N900, by default the settings are provided in the router, so you just do not need to do any changes here. But you can go in the settings and you can find out what all error you are facing at the first time of connectivity, and later on you can change it as per your need. Thank you. Uh, visit techerina.in.